uh, as you all know that uh, we have just opened our Indian office and uh, it is an amazing moment for us because today we have Vishwa with us uh, who has recently made a career transition and he really wanted to share his transition story from our office itself so we uh, called him over here and he was very much happy to come over here itself and uh, yeah Vishwa again welcome and congratulations uh, just before we go ahead just introduce about yourself yeah. um, and uh, guys it's just a pleasure just completed his B-Tech in 2020 so yeah, just, uh, yeah. So, go ahead, first of all thank you so much for you know inviting me here so basically yeah, I'm uh, you know graduated in computer science from NMIT in Bangalore so after that I was looking into this some uh, some fields so work uh, in like AI field or something so uh, then I started preparation for uh, you know NML, NDL and whatever I could find uh, the resources over the internet so yeah, so after that in January uh, this year, so I uh, you know got placed into a company. So yeah, so that's how it worked. Many people say that uh, you know uh, getting into data science as a fresher is impossible. Many people say you know you have to do masters. Probably some of the seniors may have also told I guess. So what do you want to say regarding this? You know, so what was your preparation strategy? Uh, probably once you joined the DLC, DLP, batch, what what was the entire preparation strategy so that you made it such an amazing transition itself. Yeah, so basically, yeah, uh, as you told, it's correct. Like, there's like uh, saying that uh, freshers don't get an AI job or something. So basically, uh, I was just, uh, you know, learning so that I was not very much in key initially. So that this year only, like in the first place itself, I should get into AI field or something. So I was just prepare, uh, preparing over the internet uh, just for knowledge because I had some free time after college. So I then uh, got into you know uh, this recommendation of iNeuron, DLCB, NLP batch. So I saw the syllabus. So I was like, you are why why not give it a try once? So so when I joined it, I got so much information. Then then I became keen. Key uh, like now I should join the some company with AI domain itself. So I I was I started looking for you know company and started applying it there. So because of the knowledge uh, of the DLC and NLP, you know I you know. Uh, so uh, what was the applying strategy? So basically, people also find a lot of confusion when they apply for jobs. So yeah. which all platform you probably went ahead, updated your resume, and kept on applying? Did you just keep on applying for multiple jobs and out of that? You got successfully called for some of the interviews. Yeah. So basically, uh, I tried everything. You know, uh, the platforms like Nokia.com or LinkedIn or uh, these things. I updated the resume and all. But the I like the reference. Uh, if someone is working in some company and if we refer to them, so that usually works. So in my case, if this was the same thing. Like I. Because of link, because I started posting my projects over the LinkedIn and all, so you know people started asking me, like my friends itself, uh, the connections itself, like uh, okay, you are working on that, should we collaborate? And I used to ask them, for, like, so do you work in some company? So that way I got uh, you know uh, in contact with companies and I gave. Okay. And uh, how was your interview experience? Like, what was the entire process specifically for a fresher? Did you get a written test? And uh, how many rounds did you attend? And probably you can also share some of the interview questions that you got. And sorry, I missed out uh, to talk about like which company did you get placed? In? Yes, I got placed in B Sigma I Labs. It's uh, based uh, in Hyderabad. Okay. So yes, so yes. So yes. You can tell about your interview experience. Like <laughs> how it went ahead, how many rounds were there, what were questions they asked. Yeah. So basically, there were uh, many rounds because of this Corona. Everything was in telephonic and in Gmail and all. So uh, so initially, first they you know tested if I know like the basic coding and all so so they asked me about python some some of the things and then the uh, most uh, you know the most of the questions were based on the projects which i had mentioned in the resume uh, the questions resolved uh, around what were the problems which i faced uh, while i was making the project and how did i resolve it Do you, these type of questions you know i saw a, like a trend in uh, all the interviews which i faced okay any any specific apart from that any interview questions that is specifically asked any technical things as such? Yeah, so basically, uh, uh, since like uh, I did my face direction and all, so they used to, they will ask like, how will you be if a person is standing uh, at very far from there? Uh, uh, what how will you be for multiple person and all? So for these things already in my project I had incorporated because of which I was able to give the answers. Okay, so most of the questions revolved around yes, the project. Yes. So you really need to prepare 
well for the project. Okay, I specifically want to talk about the pipeline now, which is there, right? So, what kind of questions were asked over there? Yeah, so basically, in a Python round, a very basic, uh, you know, test uh, test they took. Like it was again the telephonic uh, itself, and because of the like the uh, project or something, they kind of knew that I am uh, you know familiar with Python. So they asked me very basic data structures or questions, nothing uh, too fancy. Okay, no, no such kind of complicated. Yeah, yeah, nothing. Yeah. Is, yeah. So basic Python data structures. Yes, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. So, uh, like, uh, how many rounds were there? Uh, maybe four or something, including those HRs. HR rounds, yeah. HR. Okay. Okay. So, uh, now coming to the Ineuron uh, course, like, uh, how, uh, like, what are the things you like in the Ineuron course with respect to the syllabus, with respect to the support that you got, and everything else? Yeah. So, first of all, like, when I joined, uh, you know, Ineuron, I joined because I saw the syllabus. You know, I, it was it's such a vast syllabus. I joined the DLCD NLP, so it had everything uh, you know which I wanted at that time mm -hmm. so uh, you know after seeing the syllabus uh, you know the course was very up to the mark like what uh, what is August over the syllabus that was there so yeah so uh, you know the content is very vast everything is in very deep and uh, I don't see uh, you know the, how many interviews I have given uh, so I didn't see some some things which was missing. Like if I was not able to give the answer, that was because I didn't prepare well or something. But yes, all let, uh, nearly everything was covered in the course. Okay, and what about those amazing services like Skype support, internship opportunities? Yeah. Did this help you? Yeah, definitely. Or get confident towards it. Definitely. Industry? So initially, like uh, to have the confidence to go into this uh, data science domain or something. This, uh, you know, the Ironon projects, the internships, these uh, things provided me that confidence. Uh, because of which I did end to end projects, I was uh, into it. So I was confident, yeah, being a fresher also, I can, you know, handle stuff uh, like that. So, you know, be it the support, uh, you know, there were so many, there are so many things which you guys provide, like fast track codes or something. So because of those things, we may get uh, doubts or something which is not in, which we cannot clear in class or doubt session. So immediate Skype supports uh, the doubt clearing session which you guys uh, keep every week or something. So these things really will help. These things, uh, you know, help me keep the momentum. Like it didn't break because of some something. So and uh, coming to your mentor, obviously Sudarshan Kumar, right? Who yeah. had actually taken most of the classes. Yes. Probably Paul had taken most of the classes. So how was that? Experience or is there anything that you really want to talk about the mentors itself? Yeah, definitely. Uh, like how you do, like so I'm sure that he's really uh, amazing. Like the way he te uh, teaches, like and everything. The thing is very uh, everything. Uh, you know, he can just he will just Google it out uh, like, like there. Nothing is like uh, he will stick to some PPT or something like that. So this is very very nice. So whatever it requires for us to understand, he he does this, uh, that thing. And also talking about Paul, he used to generally used to take all the you know setup processes and those things. Which is a very difficult yeah, task. Yeah, 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 correct. I so there used to come so many you know questions, so many hurdles uh, with uh, all the people, and he used to just quickly uh, you know solve solve those things. So yeah, so, yeah uh, thank you for your time, Vishwa. Again, this is an amazing opportunity for us because we see our students getting transition. Not only you, there are many, many people who have done this and probably you are the first person to come to the office and probably record it. We are very, very much thankful for you. Yeah. And, uh, you know, yeah, keep on rocking. Best of luck for your uh, upcoming uh, work with the circular work and probably if you make more and more switches and uh, sky's the limit, you know, once you get into this, and we are always there to help you out. Thank yeah. you, Lomasi. Thank you. The pleasure is mine, you know, to, uh, yeah. you know, come to this place and we meet you guys. And yeah, thank you for everything. For sure. Sure. Thank you. So, so guys, uh, this was it uh, from my side. You know, like this kind of transition, more will be coming, more people will be coming and visiting our office, and probably they will be sharing the transition story. So yeah, I'm again thankful to Vishwa. And yes, this was it from my side. Uh, I'm also going to introduce to our team because of whom this all things are possible. Uh, Vishwa was talking about the Skype team, probably of the marketing team. Uh, the support team, you know, there are so many teams who are continuously working in the back, right? Continuously supporting all the students, which is actually required. So yes, I'll show you those teams also, and we'll also probably have a full entire pick with the team at yeah. Celestials to celebrate your services.
definitely looking forward to it. Sure. So thank you guys. Uh, this was it from my side. I'll see you all in the next video. Bye. Have a great day.